Hey guys, so today Ellie and I have been invited to a fun dog show at No Fort in Weymouth. The sun has just come out and we're really looking forward to it. So come on. You can easily access Noth Fort by following the scenic coastal path from Weymouth Harbour. You'll be pleased to know that Noth Fort offers ample car parking spaces and the charges are pretty reasonable. It's a beautiful walk up to the entrance and a stunning location with breathtaking views over the coastline. The best part is that dogs are welcome here so you can bring your four-legged pals along for the adventure. There's a charming gift shop here where you can find a variety of goodies like jams, biscuits and other souvenirs to take home as a memento of your visit. It's a great place to pick up some local treats. The construction of Northport was began in 1860 and was a key part of local defences when a German invasion was feared in 1940. We were also here to cover the dog show, a gathering of dog lovers and their adorable four-legged friends from all around the local area. We also had the opportunity to speak with some of the participants who shared with us the sense of community that events like this bring. We passed the observation post and the battery observation post and as we climbed the stairs up to the gun deck, the views out to sea were absolutely breathtaking. In 1939, a heavy anti-aircraft battery was established on the glacis of the fort. Originally armed with two three-inch guns of World War I origin, was replaced by 3.7-inch Vickers guns in 1940. Hi guys, so I'm actually with a local company called Waggy Wolf, I love the name, and they come from Bournemouth and they're going to tell you a little bit about their company. Right, so what's your name? Oh, hi, my name's Caroline Wolf, and um, this company is introduced, designed by my daughter Natasha. Oh wow! So when did you start it? Uh, she started the idea two years ago, two years ago, and she's just launched the her own designs. Wow. Um, specified uh, spending two years of research, getting the perfect harness and using her own designs. I like the design of these and I like the colours as well. They're really pretty. I'm with Arna now from the Cinnamon Trust and um, I've worked with the Cinnamon Trust and they're absolutely fantastic. So Arna, can you tell everybody a little bit about what the Cinnamon Trust does? Uh, it's a national charity um, that provides uh, foster care and sorts of options and all stops for people that are either terminally ill, disabled or in hospital and can't get out to the dogs themselves. Um, it's any any animals they will take on, uh, but it's mostly dog walking that, that they that they do. So yeah, and there's a volunteer basis if people just sign up to it and say that they're happy to walk a dog in a certain area, so many mornings, so many afternoons, whatever, and then they pair you to a dog in your area. So. One thing I did want to ask is, um, with people that may be elderly people that that can't look after a dog in the way of financially, um, do you? kind of foster dogs out to people yes i thought you did and if anybody's interested in doing that um where can they find the cinnamon trust um if you google the cinnamon trust it has got its own website um we've got some brochures and posters here as well with a phone number i actually found them when i was walking my own dog in charminster and there was a leaf of one of the dog books. so keep an eye out basically but yes cinnamon trust has got its own website so if you google it you'll find it it's I then met the lovely Carol from a company called Lucillin, which is a natural antiseptic skin care for pets. It's a fast acting formula that quickly relieves, soothes and calms and I have been invited to visit their factory to see how it's made. So look out for this in the coming weeks.
Ellie and I have had a wonderful day today at the Paws for Fort dog show at North Fort in Weymouth and I would like to thank the lovely Linda from Dog Friendly Social for the invitation. Now you might have noticed the background noise and that pesky wind which made it impossible for us to have a proper chat with the lovely Linda. However I have rescheduled our interview where we'll find a quieter spot to chat so you can hear every word Linda has to say about her mission to make our community more dog friendly. All the links to the companies featured in this video will be listed in the comments. I hope you enjoyed our trip to Northport and if you haven't subscribed already please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to be notified when our next video drops. But for now from Ellie and I, bye!